Gold and silver reverse bounce on a resilient U.S. data after GLD and SLV expand. Gold and silver prices reversed an overnight bounce Thursday after the GLD and SLV bullion-backed ETFs grew slightly, dropping back to multi-week lows as new U.S. data continued the run of resilient economic news, denting expectations that the Federal Reserve may cease and then reverse its policy of interest rate hikes in 2023. Like U.S. consumer price inflation for January, producer price inflation for U.S. businesses slowed slightly on an annual basis, new data said Thursday, but cost pressures were still firmer than consensus forecasts, with the core prices excluding fuel and food rising 0.6% from December, the fastest monthly rise since last March, when Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent inflation soaring. Retail sales meantime jumped the fastest in almost two years last month, new figures said Wednesday, while today's data releases said initial claims for jobless benefits in the world's largest economy were smaller than analysts expected yet again last week. Though the recent positive U.S. economic releases and a firm U.S. dollar continued to put pressure on the safe haven status of gold, Reuters quotes one commodity researcher. There are chances of a mild technical bounce back as prices dip to multi week lows. A bounce may take gold to resistance at $1,853 per ounce and resume its drop thereafter, according to the Newswire's in house technical analyst. The prior uptrend formed in precious metals prices is inconsistent with the slew of resilient data, agrees a chart note from Canadian brokerage TD Securities which have raised the risk that the Fed will not be in a position to cut rates in 2023. Wednesday's price drop in gold bullion saw the giant SPDR gold trust grow very slightly, needing an additional 0.3 tons to back the number of shares in issue and marking its first inflow in five sessions. Smaller gold ETF the iShares product did not change, but silver's giant iShares product also expanded adding 0.1% to reach its largest size since late October as silver bullion prices sank to the lowest since end October at $21.43 per ounce. Silver prices today rallied to $21.80 before halving that recovery at $21.60, while gold attempted but failed to rise back above $1,840. Longer-term interest rates held firm at multi-week highs, with 10-year U.S. Treasury yields close to yesterday's new 2023 peak of 3.81% per annum, up by more than 2 forward slash 5 THS of a percentage point since the Federal Reserve raised its overnight rate by 0.25 points as expected on 1 February. That left the U.S. yield curve deeply inverted, however snapping the usual pattern of shorter-term rates trading below long-term yields in what has historically proven a clear warning of economic recession ahead as two-year treasuries offered 4.60% per annum, the highest yield in three months. Platinum meantime slipped to a fresh 3.5-month low below $916 per ounce, while sister PGM metal palladium used almost exclusively in gasoline engine auto catalysts to reduce harmful emissions held near its cheapest since mid-August 2019 around $1,460. With gold and silver falling as bond yields and interest rates rose, global stock markets showed a very small rise for the third session running, edging the MSCI World Index up to 10 session highs.